Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome to the stage Camille Salcedo. So every year I go to a pagan convention. That is pagan convention. And if you don't know what a pagan is, that's someone who believes that there are multiple gods, as opposed to most of your Abrahamic faiths that believe in one true god. So I'm pagan. <laughs> I am a Wiccan, and part of my Wiccan belief is that all acts of love and pleasure are sacred. I believe that love is sacred, depending on how you define it. <laughs> So I've been going to this convention for a lot of years, and when I was going, when I started going, I was in this relationship that lasted seven years. And then we broke up a couple months before the con, and I wasn't really sure if I should go or not, but I said, screw it. I need to see my friends. It's been a shitty couple of months. <laughs> So I go to the convention single for the very first time, and I'm really horny. <laughs> and I realize that I have no clue whatsoever how to hook up at the convention. I know it's happening. It's happening all over the place. People are going to parties and drinking absinthe and fucking in the bathtubs. It's happening somewhere. <laughs> I, on the other hand, go and I get drunk off my ass on strawberry champagne. <laughs> I am kneeling on the floor at the Morrison ritual as Lilith Morrison, I climb a really beautiful blonde Midwestern boy <laughs> and I kiss him and I promptly do not remember anything else that happened that evening. I was told that I was very friendly and my friends took me back to my room on a luggage cart. <laughs> the next day I am slightly hungover. I go to a bunch of classes and I am really freaking pent up. That evening, I have a large as a true man with muscular calves in a kilt licking chocolate, param chocolate peppermint cordial out of my cleavage. <laughs> and I don't know how to seal the deal. <laughs> That night, I do not sleep very much. The next day, I proceed to hang out with my friends and go to more classes. About halfway through the day, I realize that I am so tense, I am not going to make it through the day if I don't do something soon. So instead of attending a class, by a new Wiccan author that has just published a book through Llewellyn, I tell my roommate and close friend from Southern California that I'm going back to our hotel room to take a nap. So I get back to our room. It's pretty standard, you know, pretty standard two bed room with a double tree. And I'm thinking, every other freaking convention that I have come to here, I had a boyfriend, I could sneak out of classes and say, let's go fuck. I have not had that this weekend, and I'm not coping well. I get into the room, I rummage through my suitcases, and I realize that the only thing I have with me is a tiny, battery-operated bullet vibe. This one. <laughs> so this is what I have to work with. Not exactly my preferred method, but what the hell, I really need to do something now. So get naked, get in my bed, 
got my tiny little vibe, and I'm going at it like I just really, really need to come. So I'm working the vibe, you know, I'm getting there, getting close. This is pretty good. I think I can manage this. I'm doing really, really, fuck, yeah. <laughs> I finally come. Gods, I needed that. <laughs> and I am laying there in my bed back against the pillows. And I reach down and I'm like, I look under the pillows, I look under the sheets, I look on the floor. I am on my knees on the bed and I realize, oh. shit! I don't want to be the girl in the emergency room with the foreign object lost in her vagina. I have to get it out. Get it out. Just get it out. So I proceed to try the magic finger thing. I am laying in bed, panicked that my friends are gonna show up at the door looking for me to go to dinner any minute. And I am really trying to get rid of this vibrator. I'm laying there, trying very hard to find it. If you've ever had to look for a lost condom, you might have a vague idea of this experience. Your condom doesn't vibrate against your cervix. This feels really good. No, 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 wait, wait, dude. No, no, get it out. Just, just get it out, get it out. If anybody I knew could see me in this moment, I would literally die of embarrassment. Get it out. So I am practically fisting myself for the very first time <laughs> in the hotel bed thinking, wow, that's really full. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Get it out. I really can't do this. Like, this is freaking me out. I got to get it out. Get it out. Get it out. I finally get my fingers on it, just the very tips, and it slides away. And I'm trying really hard to focus on getting the vibrator out and not focus on the fact that this feels uncomfortably, but really shockingly good. So when I finally get enough of a grip on the vibrator, and I start pulling it out of me. I have the most incredibly big orgasm. And I am sweating, lying back in my bed, breathing heavy, and I realize that I am wet. I don't mean oh, there's a damp spot on the sheets. I mean, I am laying in a puddle from my hips to my knees, and when I move, it sloshes. <laughs> so, I jump up off the bed and I run to the bathroom and I grab a towel. Hotel towels are inordinately small and ineffective So now I have a damp towel and a soaking wet bed. I peel all the sheets off the bed and I realize, what the hell am I gonna do with a big ball of soaking wet sheets? And I give up. I leave the bundle of damp sheets on the bed. I put on my clothes. 
I take out the hotel stationery and write a short note to the cleaning staff, apologizing because I didn't know that would happen. <laughs> and I leave them $20. <laughs> I walk out of the hotel room, lock the door behind me, run down the stairs, meet up with my friends just in time for dinner, and do not tell anyone what I have been up to. Because of this particular experience, whenever I travel, I carry a Hitachi magic wand. It is 15 inches long, has a head the size of a tennis ball, and a cord that plugs into the wall. If I ever lose this, I will be really scared. <laughs>